This is Laura GP, and in this video, we're going to embed a Power BI report onto a SharePoint page. So here I am on my editing my blank SharePoint page, and I want to take this report here and I want to put it inside that page. So we're going to come down to here, editing this section. If I hover up here, I get a plus to add my new web part. Now I've used the Power BI one before, not surprisingly, but if I go to search, you'll find search in Power BI. We'll also find it. So we click on Power BI and that puts it in there and it gives me an add report button. I click onto that. And then over on the right hand side here, it's asking for a Power BI report link. So let's switch over to Power BI and we want to embed it. And this, this way of embedding is going to go under the file and there's embed report and there's SharePoint online. So click on there and it just gives you a URL. So I'm going to highlight that and copy it and go back onto my SharePoint page and into that top right hand corner, I am going to paste that link, give it a moment and it will populate the drop downs. So it's asking you which page would you like? So I've got two pages. I've got a, a volume page and a turnover page. OK, and I can pick which one I want to show. And then we can choose on the display, the proportions of my report. Now, the three toggles down here. So the navigation page is the pages section. Do I want that on or do I want that off? The filter pane allows that filter pane in your Power BI report to turn on or to turn off. OK, I normally hide it. Now, that top bar across the top of your report is called the action bar, and we can remove that as well. So I can hide that so it just looks like a page. And if you have actually if you have the action bar off, the navigation pane also vanishes with it. So that's put it on my thing. That's put that report onto my page. Let's click republish or publish if it's the first time you've published. And when someone comes to this page, that's what they'll see. Now, licensing question, yes. They're gonna need a pro license. And actually, I've just realized I made a mistake in there. The navigation moves to the bottom if you don't have the action bar. If you have the action bar, the pages are on the left hand side. So that was embedding a Power BI report into SharePoint. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.